Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So the other day I posted a routine of Eric Carle and you guys love that video so much that here I am today and I'm going to try out Beatrix Potter daily creative routine. So Beatrix Potter was born in 1866 and she always loved nature and that is reflected in her art but she wasn't just an illustrator. For women in her time period there were lots of constraints because of society. So I think her story is absolutely amazing. Her first story was The Tale of Peter Rabbit and she went to many publishers to see if any of the publishers wanted to publish her story, but none of them did. So she took matters into her own hand and decided to self-publish the book herself with her own illustrations. Books sold so well that eventually a publisher called Frederick Warren and Co and decided to publish the story for her. And then on, the publisher and Beatrix Potter had a nice relationship and she published so many more children's stories. So let's talk about Beatrix Potter's routine, creative routine. So she used to wake up really early in the mornings and go for nice long walks in nature. When she came back from the walk, she usually started illustrating and writing stories during the morning because she felt inspired. After lunch and in the afternoons, she would do uh, farm work. She would help out on the farm. Unfortunately, I do not have a farm. My best friend in New Zealand was my neighbor's donkey. I thought of an alternative, so I think Maybe I don't have a farm, but I can take the most out of cleaning the studio and have kind of a similar experience, even though they have nothing to do and it's not going to be the same experience. And in the evenings, she did research for stories. So there's Beatrix Potter's routine. Let's get into it. So I'm going to start my morning drawings first thing because that's when Beatrix Potter felt most creative. Um, and I'm also going to do some landscape nature because she always did amazing nature. Her art focused a lot on details and very cute characters. So yesterday I was drawing a story that I had in mind, just like sketches and nothing too definite. It's not even finished yet, but I actually just dropped it because I felt like I was trying too hard. But it was just some drawings of a book I wanted that is set in Iceland. And I felt like I was trying too hard to get these illustrations right and they just weren't coming out. Like, I felt like when I try too hard to make something good, it never comes out good. Like, somehow the looseness of my lines don't come through and it feels extremely stiff. That's what I think, but yeah, yesterday was a very frustrating day for me because nothing came out the way I wanted to. So today I'm going to take a step back from trying to illustrate something so well. <laughs> and I'm just going to take out my sketchbook and do super, super, super simple landscapes. And I know that's not Beatrix Potter's style because she focuses a lot on details in nature, but I feel like I really need to do that. I will draw nature, like for Beatrix Potter, but I really think I need to take a step back and do very simple and easy and fun landscapes. So yeah, I hope you like today's sketchbook sketches. <laughs>
So I've had this idea for a new picture book that it's been going on my mind for like a week now. I did a super cute character and I really want to create a story for it. So I've had a few ideas going through my brain and right now I just want to set them down on paper and do my morning writing session. Okay, so Beatrix Potter's day is very relaxing for me. So I always take Kiwi out for morning walk anyways. So taking, waking up early and going for a walk wasn't difficult for me. I was actually like looking a bit more at flowers and trying to focus more on detail. I was imagining that she did that as well. But I, the morning thing was easy. And then when she came back, she did her illustrations and text. And I also did a bit of illustration and writing. But yeah, I felt like it was a pretty normal day for me. That's kind of how I usually work. I did do sketchbooking very simple, like I said before. And I did write a new story and I'm always happy to write a new story. So that was really easy. After lunch, we cleaned the studio. I personally would have preferred to do a bit more writing and illustration work than cleaning. Also, I don't like cleaning. <laughs> And in the evenings I did research and that was a bit difficult for me because my brain was like already shutting down because in the evenings, because in the evenings like my brain switches off from 8 p.m. and I'm like super tired and I just want to watch a movie or series and go to sleep or read a book and go to sleep. But the fact that I had to actually do some research was a bit very, was a bit tiring for my brain. <laughs> But yeah, apart from that, I really like Beatrix's daily routine. I think she's an amazing woman, especially for her time period. I think her stories are beautiful and I'm very happy I could try out her routine. Anyway, if you like this video, let me know and I'll try and find other author creators to do their routines. But yeah, see you next time. Bye.